Okay, well, welcome back, everyone. I hope you had a nice, a nice break and chance for refreshment, uh, maybe some fresh air as well. So we're back on with the the webinar, and the next presentation is is one from Marco, and this covers the uh, effect range of insecticides. In next presentation, I'll present to you some information about insecticides under EFFECT brand. EFFECT insecticides are currently being sold in over 35 countries worldwide as presented with orange color on this map. Our strategy is to expand also in other countries that we are currently not present. What is Unikim professional product portfolio under EFFECT brand? Insecticides under EFFECT brand are produced with different formulations, such as capsule suspensions, concentrate polyemulsions, ultra-low volume formulations, ready-to-use formulations, aerosols, granules and dustable powders. But in the UK, effect insecticides are currently available just in three different formulations. These are Effect Ultimum Pro, Effect Microtech CS Pro and Effect Microtech RTU. In order to achieve great performance in insect control, all three products are produced with a combination of three different active ingredients where they complement each other. Permetrin has a killing effect, tetrametrin and pralitrin with knockdown effect, and PBO which works as a synergist. Effect Ultimum Pro is emulsion concentrate suitable also for ultra-low volume application and contains permetrin, tetrametrin and PBO. The second formulation is Effect Microtech CS Pro, which is capsule suspension formulation and is made with combination of permetrin, proletrin and PBO. And the last formulation is Effect Microtech RTU, which is ready to use trigger spray formulation consisting of permetrin, tetrametrin and PBO. We will closely look both concentrated formulations. The first one is Effect Microtech CS Pro. Effect Microtech CS Pro is advanced microencapsulated insecticide formulation. It is produced with the process of microencapsulation when tiny particles are surrounded by coating to form small capsules. The primary reasons for microencapsulation are the following prolonged release of the active ingredient, delayed onset of symptoms, target delivery of the actives, to mask taste and odor of active ingredients to reduce mammalian toxicity and increase safety to non-target organisms and to stabilize the actives which are sensitive to sunlight or moisture. Due to the mode of action of microencapsulated insecticides, they are especially suitable for control of crawling insects. Effect Microtech CS Pro is capsule suspension, non-systemic insecticide with contact and stomach mode of action and is formulated using microencapsulation technology which gives us a product that is designed specially for the urban and household environments. The product is based on combination of three different active ingredients. This is 8% of permethrin, 1% of proletrin, and 8% of PBO. Due to its composition and technology, it has great contact action and long-lasting effect. Product has also very good performance at destroying nests. This is because of the size of the microcapsules ensures the capsules to stick on the insect bodies. In that way, the capsules are transferred to the nest, causing the entire population to be controlled. The size of the microcapsule is between 5 to 15 microns, and due to their size and the technology of the capsule's membrane, the product achieves full effect 24 to 48 hours after application and is effective up to 6 months even on porous surfaces. The incredibly prolonged efficacy is achieved due to the gradual and even release of the active ingredients through membrane, due to the mode of action of the product, due to the size of the microcapsules, and due to the wall thickness. Beside that, there is also 2% of active ingredients that are in the spaces between the capsule, which gives us fast action of the product. With added stabilizing synergist, microcapsules do not sink over time and remain evenly distributed throughout the entire volume of the product. Effect Microtech CS Pro is tested and registered to be used against following crawling insects. German cockroaches, oriental cockroaches, and bedbugs. The efficacy trial for the product was performed in Czech Republic by National Laboratory of Public Health in June 2020. This first graph shows us the efficacy of the product on porous surfaces at high insect infestation. 
The product was used at prescribed concentration on the label depending on the insect type. This is from 2 to 2.5% product solution for 100 square meters of the surface. We can see that the product is 100% effective for all target species, such as oriental and German cockroach and bedbugs, in a period of 6 months. This second graph shows us the efficacy trial for low insect infestation. In accordance with the lower insect infestation, also the dosage of the product was lower. In this case, only 0.5% solution was used for 100 square meters. And also in this case, the product was 100% effective against all tested insects in a period of 6 months. Both efficacy trials shows that the product Effect Microtech CS Pro has a great and prolonged efficacy for up to 6 months. This means that due to the prolonged effect of the product, less treatments are needed compared to classic insecticide formulations. The second product for professional users in Unikin portfolio is Effect Ultimum Pro. Effect Ultimum Pro is non-systemic insecticide with contact and stomach action and is suitable for control of crawling and flying insects. The product consists of three active ingredients, 6% of, of permethrin, 0.9% of tetrametrin and 18% of PBO. Due to the combination of different active ingredients, the product has strong knockdown effect and also works residually. The product has long-lasting and prolonged action. It does not leave stains on the treated surfaces and is resistant to light and other external conditions. The product is formulated as ECUL product that allows also dilution with water. It can be used as ultra-low volume space treatment which provides cost-effective control of flying insects such as flies, moths and mosquitoes. Using the compression sprayer can be performed after diluting the product with water. With this type of usage the product is very effective against crawling insects such as ants, cockroaches and bedbugs and also for the flying insects that are resting on the surface. The technology of Effect Ultimum Pro ensures us immediate effect and long-lasting protections for up to 6 weeks after applying the product to the surface. The product is effective also when dealing with insects that have metabolic resistance to pyrethroids. This effect is achieved with addition of PBO, which acts as an insecticide synergist by inhibiting the natural defense mechanisms of insects. PBO also enhances the speed of knockdown and synergizes the killing effect. Due to this fact, Effect Ultimum Pro should therefore be considered towards the direction of resistance management. The product can be used in domestic and public buildings, food handling facilities, means of conveyance and also in agricultural buildings. The product Effect Ultimum Pro is tested and registered for use against crawling insects such as bedbugs, German and Oriental cockroaches. The efficacy was also tested against flying insects such as flies, moths and yellow fever mosquitoes. The efficacy trials were performed by National Institute of Public Health in Czech Republic in 2020. The first trial was performed on flying insects at concentration of 0.5% of the product diluted in water. The results are presented in this graph where you can see that the product is 100% effective against flying insects such as yellow fever mosquitoes houseflies and Indian meal moth for up to 6 weeks. The second trial was performed on crawling insects at concentration from 1 to 1.5% 1 of the product diluted in water depending on the target insect. The result presented in this graph shows us that the product is 100% effective against German cockroach and bedbugs and between 85-95% to effective against oriental cockroach for up to 6 weeks. For conclusion, I would just like to point out that the insecticides play an important role in improving the public health by controlling the vectors which are carriers of various diseases. Thank you very much for that, Marco. Very interesting and um, I'm always happy to see um, products that have had independent testing at external laboratories. So that adds uh, that reassurance, doesn't it, to the uh, typical biocides efficacy trial. So nice to nice to see that. And then the, the closing comment, um, we sometimes get so involved with our work and uh, doing pest control that um, we forget sometimes that it is all about protecting public health, especially the vectors of disease. So to have the right products to control them is the, is the, 
a good thing, really. So, um, yeah, very happy with that. Thanks very much, Marco. Good. So, um, the next presentation is from my colleague at Killgem, Richard Knoll, and that will cover some complementary uh, products um, relating to insecticide use. So, I will now begin to launch that presentation. Well, good morning, everybody. And uh, following on from the last presentation on the effect insecticide, I want when applying a core spray of an insecticide like the effect products, we usually think of a sprayer like this, uh, and that's how it is no normally done. Glory is a very popular example of a pneumatic sprayer using the application of insecticide or liquids. Once filled with insecticide, you manually pump it up the required pressure, and so off you go. So today, I wanted to briefly discuss three other methods. One for the application of core spray and the other methods uh, are ones that can be used in conjunction with a core spray, ULV fogging, for example, and also use of targeted steam, primarily for bed bugs. So chemical application using electrostatic spraying equipment. There are two uh, products which we supply. Um, there's the handheld unit on the left, which is uh, a capacity of one litre, and there's a larger knapsack spray on the right, which has a capacity of up to eight litres. Electrostatic spraying equipment uh, is designed to positively charge the product solution so it sticks to the surface and wraps the solution around objects to provide a 360 degree coating so that the, the particles are positively charged and therefore they're attracted to the surface and they're looking for ways to stick to the surface, which is why, as you'll see in the little video on the right, um, the product being sprayed from the opposite side is still finding its way all around the, all around the, the, the object. Furthermore, because the particles are positively charged, they're also slightly repelling each other, and that means that they fall onto the surface in a much more even fashion. So just so, this diagram just explains how it all works. Um, with a conventional sprayer, uh, when you apply the product to the nozzle and the product hits the surface that you were intending to spray, it will only cover the area that you're intending to cover, uh, just the area that's hit directly by the product. With the electrostatic sprayer, however, the product, because of the attraction uh, caused by the positive charge and I mentioned, will find its way around the whole of the surface of the item that you're spraying. So as in the diagram there, it's covering um, 360 degrees around that circular, circular object. So how does that help you? Well, it primarily saves you time because an electrostatic sprayer applies chemical over three times faster. And the reason that is, is because when you're doing particularly the detailed jobs where you would need to be getting underneath furniture, behind uh, wardrobes, in, in around bed frames and that kind of thing, particularly with something like bed bugs, for example, then um, with a normal sprayer, you're having to make sure that everything that you want to treat, you are directly pointing that sprayer at. With the electrostatic, you spray it into those areas and um, you can be confident the product will find its way uh, to all of the surfaces you were trying to treat and into the cracks and crevices as well. So you, the, the main benefit is that you can actually complete particularly those detailed treatments with uh, much more quickly than you will with a conventional sprayer. It also saves you money because the, the, the sprayer will, will, will also use less, less chemical to cover the same area. Remember I mentioned about the fact that the product spreads very evenly because all the particles are charged. Um, that means that you use, typically would do um, the same job and, and cover the same areas with less product. So there's a cost saving there. And just generally, um, you get better coverage anyway because, for the reasons I've said, because the surface is covered much more evenly and much more in a uniform fashion. I'm just going to show you a short video which uh, demonstrates this effect. Uh, where um, this exercise bike that you can see has a piece of water sensitive paper fitted to one of the uprights and as the uh, product passes or the sprayer passes across the opposite side of the, the surface where the paper is, you'll see that the product wraps around and uh, basically uniformly coats the paper on the opposite side of the uh, post demonstrating the, the 360 degree effect. That's the uh, piece of water sensitive paper.
So as you can see, it's completely covered the paper on the opposite side of the post. And also, as you'll see from the distribution of the, uh, of the droplets there, it's formed a very even coating of droplets over the surface as well. So these portable electrostatic sprayers then provide double positive charges I've mentioned, which encourages the product to actively seek out the surface for a, a, a smooth coating. There are different settings for the droplet size, uh, 40, 80 and 110 microns. We would normally recommend the 80 micron setting for use in pest control. We have the handheld sprayer, which is a one litre, ideal for some of those tight um, spaces and for small jobs. And then we also have the knapsack version, which will carry uh, up to eight litres in its tank. Um, the ranges are similar, the handheld, one to two metres, the backpack a little bit more, one to three metres, and you will get um, up to four hours of continual spray from one, one battery charge. So the benefits of the electrostatic sprayers then, just to summarise, you get fast application due to the positive charge on the liquid finding its way to all the surfaces, as I said, so that reduces the application time by up to 400%. You get a very even coverage with the product, so it's very uh, efficient in the use of the product and uh, very good coverage in terms of making sure you've got all the surfaces that you wanted to treat uh, covered, including the cracks and crevices. Using less product, use less overspray, so there's, a, there's, there's less waste being created. The machines are easy to clean and maintain also. And of course, for the lazy amongst you, there's no need to be uh, manually pumping the sprayer. All the power is provided by a rechargeable battery. Um, and there is a fast uh, battery recharge as well. The recharge unit is uh, it recharges the batteries very quickly. And as I mentioned earlier, you get uh, many, many cycles of, uh, of filling the tank from one, one battery, so it's easy to use. So again, an example of how you might apply a core spray, but in a, in a different way um, and uh, in a, a more efficient and effective way. So we're now going to move on to talking about um, the use of ULV fogging, ultra low volume fogging treatments, uh, primarily with a, a VASA ULV 500 product. This is technology been around for a long time, but it's worth revisiting um, as it is a very efficient way of applying a fog um, in a conventional space treatment for flying insects, uh, e.g. moths, for example, but is also very useful as a complementary treatment so to complement your regular uh, core spray treatments, particularly with insects like bed bugs or cockroaches. So ULV, what is it? Well, the World Health Organization defined it as follows. Ultra low volume spraying utilizes the minimum volume of insecticidal formulation required to produce the de desired biological effect with the maximum economy. So in other words, um, you're able to do the job with the smallest amount of product that's effective to do the job. And this is achieved by uh, making the, the, the droplets that the machine produces in a very narrow range and to get them as close as possible to the optimum droplet size for this type of work of 15 microns. This particle size allows for an even spread of the insecticide. So once the product is, is um, pushed out into the air, it very evenly spreads through the, through the uh, area that you're trying to treat uh, and, and then and settles down very evenly too. But also, very importantly, when you're trying to use it as a, as a complementary treatment to your, your spraying, for example, for, for bed bugs and cockroaches and such like, is it gives good penetration of the cracks and crevices. So this product gets into the cracks and crevices when applied as a ULV, um, and it will kill the insects, but the ones that it doesn't kill, it will agitate out onto the uh, insecticidal treatment that you've already carried out elsewhere. So with bed bugs, for example, that might be onto your core spray that you've already applied. In a cockroach treatment, it might mean that it uh, encourages them out to eat the gel bait that you've, that you've put down. As I say, that's really what I've just described. It acts as a flushing out treatment, basically backing up your residual insecticide. So it acts in, as, as a complement to your residual insecticide. Um, the droplet size of 15 microns or near to 15 microns also is a size that impinges on the target insect efficiently. So it, it, it's, the, it's the right size to, to have the maximum impact in terms of engaging with the insect and getting the insect to take the insecticide on board. And because you're using very small volumes, um, there's no visible residue, there's very, very little residue. And so therefore you can use this type of fogging technology uh, in most places. Um, and as I've kind of alluded to earlier, the whole volume is treated evenly because it spreads the product very evenly through the, the space that you're trying to treat. So how does it work? As I say, it's all about the droplet size, as I said, that optimum size around the, the 15 microns, so 10 to 15 micron 
uh, is small enough to be carried on the air currents into the small cracks and crevices, but still heavy enough to fall out within an hour. Which is what you don't want is a product that's hanging in the air um, and uh, it's taking a long time to drop drop down because then you can't re-enter the area. If you have a, a the droplets is a, a too small, so say less than five microns, then the, the majority of the droplets are too small to impinge on the target insect. In the when droplets are that small, the just the, the natural air curtain around the insect will prevent the droplets from 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 interacting with the insect and therefore won't uh, therefore won't uh, complete the treatment and 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 kill the insect, which is uh, what we're trying to do. On the other hand, if the product is or the droplet sizes are too large and they're over 80 microns, then the conventional sprays produce large droplets that quickly fall out of the air and therefore carry a high concentration of liquid. They can leave a, a, an unsightly deposit or an unpleasant odour, but either way they're not um, they're not evenly spreading and not doing the job as, as efficiently. Just to give you an example, um, I wouldn't normally uh, uh, have a slide with numbers this small, but as you're looking on the screen, hopefully you can see them. Take the example of um, a room that's 100 cubic metres and the way you uh, work how to use this product is simply by measuring the uh, cubic metrage of the area you're treating and the uh, instructions which you're looking at here will give you guidance on how long the machine needs to be turned on. So 100, 100 cubic metres, you just basically need 20 millilitres of product and the machine is on for 25 seconds uh, and you're using 79 pence worth of product. So the on cost of product is extremely small, but also the treatment is extremely quick. So a 100 cubic metre room, which is a fair size room, um, it'll probably take you longer to plug the machine in and unplug it than they will to do the treatment. So it's a very, very quick uh, treatment time. And to say very efficient in the use of product and the cost of the product is therefore very low when you look at it on a per treatment basis. So if you're using the machine with manual operation, there is a timer as well, but uh, uh, for a lot of particularly smaller jobs, the manual operation is fine. Uh, you need obviously to wear PPE if you're gonna be operating the machine and you're gonna be uh, in the area where the treatment is taking place. Um, it is simply a case of um, switching the machine on uh, and then switching the machine off again after the calculated time period that you have calculated from the previous sheet that I've shown you. Um, the treatment time, as I mentioned, is extremely quick. An average room is about 10 seconds, so a bedroom or a living room in a house, for example, if it was a domestic, would be just a few seconds. So the treatment is very, very quick. Um, if you can, it makes sense to be um, remote from the application, i.e. not in there where the, where the product's being dispensed. So if you can, it makes sense to um, perhaps plug the machine in by running the cable under a door, for example, plug the machine into an electrical socket in the, in the corridor outside and then control the, the power to the unit from the, from the on-off switch on the wall um, to, for the prescribed time. We talked about the droplets um, uh, fall, falling as they settle. This just gives you an idea um, of, uh, of how fast the droplets you know, basically settle depending on the, um, the, the size of the droplet. So a 10 micron, um, so that's near to the, the 15, 10 to 15 we would, we, we would have with URV, will take 56 minutes to, to drop out. So that means that you can therefore re-enter the area after an hour because all of the product has uh, settled. So there's no nothing in the air after that time. So it's a much quicker re-entry time than you'd have with the conventional fog, for example, where you've got droplets of lots of different sizes. So the re-entry procedure, as I said, you can re-enter after, after one hour. Um, it's good to ventilate the air, obviously, just to make sure any residues are, are gone. But if you do enter after an hour, then there's no personal protective equipment required to, to make that entry. Um, of course, if you are going to enter earlier, you need to wear PPE. So the other thing, just to point out with the with the excess machine, if you look at the picture on the bottom right, uh, the machine can also be run with a timer. So you can manually set a timer uh, if you don't want to run the machine um, just, just by being present. So for example, if you had a job to do where you need to leave it running for a long time, you could set the timer to to switch the machine on at a time you prescribed and also run for the, the set amount of time you needed it to run. That's particularly useful, for example, where you may be doing a treatment in a building in the evening. So you could set the machine up at sort of five o'clock um, and then the machine could be uh, coming on later in the evening when nobody's there doing its job and you simply go along and collect it in the morning. Um, another benefit of using the, the, the URV system, the excess URV system, is it's not just about insecticides. We talked about the URV 500 insecticide, which um, is used for most applications. But there is a version of Aquapi uh, called Aquapi Micro, which is also available to go through the 
uh, Exus machine. And um, so if you need a water-based um, product we, and with a natural pyrethrin, perhaps soil association site or somewhere where uh, a product that, that, that has a, a light oil carrier, which is what uh, the ULV does, where that wouldn't be appropriate, then you do have a water-based and natural pyrethrin alternative in, in Aquapy. You can also put disinfectants um, through the product. There's a, 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 a disinfectant, which is uh, for proof for use against COVID and many other things um, which you can apply for the machine. So you, as you can imagine, that's been uh, particularly useful over the last 18 months or so. And finally, there's also an odorside product. So you can deodorize areas for using ULV as well. So although we talk mainly about insect control with these machines, um, they can be used for, for, for other, uh, other uses as well. The final item I wanted to speak to you about today um, is the targeted use of steam, particularly for the control of bed bugs. Uh, and that means using the, the Cymex eradicator machine, which um, also uh, comes with a deodorizing product should you wish to use it to get rid of that smell of, uh, of bed bugs as well, which is what the HP Med product is on the right hand side there. So how does it work? Well, the machine superheats the steam to up to 180 degrees Celsius. That means that the steam that comes out of the nozzle is very dry, very little moisture, mostly heat, not much moisture. And so when you're applying it to surfaces like you know, mattresses, chairs, carpets and such like, all you feel on the surface will be a slight moistening um, and but plenty of heat. And so therefore it's, it makes it much more uh, easy to use around areas where another form of steaming might might create a lot more water. So it's a very dry steam, so very easy to very convenient to use in, in those situations. It's not going to be drenching um, furnishings in, in, in water. Manufacturers claim uh, that it kills 100% of the eggs and 90% of the adult bed bugs on the first pass of the steam. Um, as, a, as a byproduct, if you like, it's also an effective solution against viruses, bacteria, germs, fungi, spores, uh, other microbes. Um, as I mentioned, with the optional HP Med, it can also eliminate a typical smell of bed bugs. So what benefits does the Cymex eradicator bring you? Well, there's um, no or or a reduced need at least for for the use of pesticides so there's a lower environmental impact would we say that you can always achieve uh, treatment of uh, bed bugs just by steam alone i'm not thinking that we would necessarily say that however um, if you are using it in conjunction with your core spray so for example you might use it initially to uh, bring a heavier infestation down bring the numbers down before you apply your core spray so you can do it that way and it would work very nicely therefore in conjunction with your uh, pesticide treatment and uh, the two together will, 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 will get you the, the, the desired result. Um, during treatment, as it, the Cymex eradicator is not using insecticide, it can be used with people present. Um, so if you've got an area that's difficult to treat because of people who are there, then as long as they're not directly in line with the steam, then it, it can be used with people who are present. And because there is no residual effect at the end of the treatment, the, the area or the premises you're, you're treating can be reused immediately. There is no or at worst uh, low consumable cost. If you're not using the HP Med, then you're just using steam, which is probably what you do most of the time. Then you're using the customer's water and the customer's electricity. So there is no on cost to using the machine once you've purchased it. So um, as I say, there is in fact, yeah, zero on cost. Um, if you do use the HP Med, of course, then you've got the cost of, of, of that. And um, that's just used by inserting the bottle into the, the base of the trigger and it draws the product through as the steam steam comes out, but that will be the only on cost that you would have. I mentioned about the fact, the benefit that you can re-enter the premises straight away because there's no residual effect of heat. But do remember also that no residual effect from heat also means that it has no residual effect on the insects either. So the a heat treatment, the steam or any form of heat or indeed cold flat mass that's used to control uh, insects will only work whilst it's there. And so there is no residual effect. So that's why I say you'd really, what it's really ideal for is to be used as a complement and in conjunction with your residual insecticide or spray. And uh, just finally, um, uh, another benefit, you can buy a steam cleaning attachment kit to go with the machine. So it can also be used as a steam cleaner. Uh, and you can just have just change the, the attachments to swap the machine from a, a steam cleaner to, to a bed bug steamer and vice versa. So it just gives a little bit of versatility if you wanted to go down that route. Can I just also to mention uh, uh, just finally uh, about the Unicam offers that we're currently running. Um, uh, so we've got offers on product, uh, on the, on the Rattamore products. Um, again, similar to what we've run before. So you can buy a mix of any uh, Rattamore Bromodalone or Rattamore Defendicum products. That means the 
uh, the, the the fresh baked sachets, the fresh baked trays, the blocks or the maxi blocks, any combination of four of those, uh, 406 pounds. And then again, you can have any combination of three of the Brodifrican products for, for 111 pounds. So good opportunity, particularly if you've not tried these products before, to, uh, to, to give yourself the opportunity to try um, several formulations so whilst the offer is on. And that runs until um, the end of November, so you've got plenty of time. Excellent. Thank you, Richard. Hello, that's me. So thank you very much for listening. I hope you found that useful. And um, I think we'll be moving on to questions. Thank you. Good. Yeah, thanks, Richard, for that. I, I like, um, you know, the links between uh, the various products and the, the Unichem effect range that integrated uh, insect management program is what we always strive for, isn't it? So very good. Um, and we're doing well for time in everybody. We've got time for some questions and answers. Um, so I'll have a look at, made a few notes myself and see what we've got there. So um, what we've got here, uh, a bit of a question for myself, actually, I did write one down myself for, for Marco. Um, and I was just thinking about the, the, the trial data that was presented for the effect, the insecticides against bed bugs. Um, and just wondered if that was against susceptible bed bugs in a laboratory setting. Um, or whether you'd managed to get hold of any field strains that show uh, different types of resistance. Uh, yeah, the trials that were performed were, uh, in this case, laboratory trials. Uh, we did not perform any semi-field or field trials in this case, but uh, uh, later on, uh, when uh, they prepare the dossier for the EPR registration, we will have to do this. So, so field and semi-field trials in this case will be. That's good. That'd be nice to build on on the data that you've already got. And I think you know one of the things as well, um, we get good feedback from in the field. You know, people out there doing the job at this moment in time using those those products against bed bugs. So that's always a a good test, um, as well as the, the more formal formal results. So that's a good one. Um, I think uh, somebody must have got wind of the news of um, various countries coming coming off the red list for travel. I think one of our customers fancies a holiday in, in Slovenia because they've asked a question and. Um, what is one of the main insect pests in Slovenia? I don't know whether they mean the most numerous or the most difficult, uh, but maybe you could you could answer that, guys. Um, less than, I mean, uh, in the last few years, we have um, had the most problems with mosquitoes. So summers are quite annoying to, <laughs> to be outside in the evening. Uh, and uh, let's say in the last few years, there's also a lot of tiger mosquitoes, so, you know, are uh, quite a big problem. So I think mosquitoes, in this case, uh, in the last time, I'll say mosquitoes, yeah. Oh, right. Yeah, the, the Asian tiger mosquito. If, if I come and visit you, I'll be careful not to bring any back. <laughs> I think I'd be in lots of trouble if I did that. Um, oh, interesting. Yeah, mosquitoes. So, yeah, good to, good to know. Um, but also bad to know. At least we've got some, uh, some repellents uh, to wear and protect ourselves that way. Um, so, yeah, thanks for that, that answer, Marco. Um, Looks like one of our customers was paying good attention to one of the slides about um, effect um, ULV version. I understand that's not available in the UK, but in different parts of Europe. I just wonder if uh, there might be any plans in, in the future to bring something over here. Uh, yeah, with the <clears throat> bed bugs, uh, we'll perform also will be trials uh, when uh, the receipt for the registration will be in the process of. Preparing. Good. That, that's interesting. I think um, one thing that I've spotted with with manufacturers um, seems to be very clever in, in making the best use of developing the formulation technology um, because it's more difficult to you know generate new new molecules um, and we rely on the pyrethroids to a certain extent. So yeah, Marco, that's that's interesting to know that you know developing the formulations is, is something that we see more and more make the best use of the existing active ingredients that we've got with a, with a high quality formulation. Good. Um, let's see what else we've got down on here. Um, got a couple of things that just popped up from before. So <laughs> one of the guys is asking how, how fat is the rat that ate uh, a certain amount of uh, 
but I for Coombe, I think it's one of these. It's the big one you see in the newspaper, don't you? The guy's got the rat and the the rat's that big because it's close to the camera. And then actually it's, the, it's that big in real life. And so yeah, good, good one there from, uh, from Dave. Um, I think Carol, one of our colleagues has asked um, how long the HP Med bottle lasts. Um, if Richard knows that, that's great, but uh, we might have to sort of double check on the how long the HP Med bottle lasts for the, um, the Cymex eradicator. Yes, I would have to, to check it. it, it um, I think it draws out a pretty slow rate, but um, uh, I w there, there may be a, 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 a dose based on the amount of time the machine's sucking it for, which I can find out. It's fine. Good. Thanks for that. Um, so, yeah, I think um, we did have a question about um, non-chemical techniques that, that came in um, for controlling insects. But I would say by the time that question had come in, Richard had gone on to his, his presentation and talked about things like the, the Cyanex eradicator um, as a, as a non-chemical sort of physical treatment. So we saw we saw some of that. Unless um, unless the Unichem guys have got any any further comments on on sort of non-chemical control, I'd be happy to hear hear that. I mean, beside beside the chemical, uh, let's say insecticides, we also have mechanical protection, uh, so different kind of uh, traps. Uh, and otherwise, it's, uh, as Richard mentioned, the That's right. Sounds good. Okay, I think we've got another another question there. Um, so yeah, Martin. Martin has chipped in with a question about uh, electrostatic sprayers. Um, he likes the idea of them, um, but yeah, he's got a, a commercial type type query. So I think um, that's probably one for for Richard and our sales team to get in touch with Martin to chat to chat over that one. Um, you know, on the pricing of the of the units. Um, but I think Richard, you, it's quite a good explanation you gave about um it's like a lot of units isn't it they sort of pay for themselves in the end um, but yeah. I'm, I'm straight into commercial territory so i'll, I'll, I'll be quiet and, uh, and let you sort of that. yeah it is it is the, the key saving is the, is the time um because particularly when you're doing very detailed areas um because the, because the product is finding its way onto the surfaces um, and we've been attracted to the surfaces um you can actually get around those areas and the, the one that's been used for probably most is bed bugs uh, because typically you're treating in con possibly congested areas in bedrooms and and those type of um, scenarios. So yeah, the machine is more expensive, but it will pay for itself, um, you know, in in the long run in terms of time. And again, there's a little product saving there too. What I would suggest is uh, I'm not sure where you are, but um, speak to your speak to your uh, your area manager, your Kildare area manager, and see see if he can do anything for you. Particularly if you are looking for more than one, I would suggest. Okay, great, thanks, sir. Uh... Thanks, Richard, for that one. I think um, I'm sort of sort of happy with how things have, have gone. Um, I don't know if uh, Richard or our, our colleagues from Unichem have any further questions, maybe to direct at, at Kildrum, or if um, if the guys want to say any sort of closing words before I I wrap up at, at our end. So uh, I'll judge this by who unmutes the microphone in a nimble way. And Marco was first on the unmute button. Uh, yeah, I have a question for you. Uh, you mentioned that uh, there was a red weight, uh, 400 something gram of uh, bromodiolin. Is this a pure active substance or is this a product? Yeah, this was um, one of the slides referred to. Um, it was a trial in a rural situation on, on a farm. And that was over over a period of time. And um, it was one of the hotspots of, of resistance to, to bromodiolin and, and diphenicum. You know, it's not widespread, widespread. Um, I think one of the points I was making that was that in certain areas there is no resistance to bromodiolin and diphenicum. We still have a, a real need for those ingredients in many other places. It just makes us think a little bit more about careful product choice. And when we have known resistance, um, Marco's information on bromodiolin comes in really well. Um, so we just make those informed choices about good inside use now. And see, so, yeah, it was over over a period of time um, that particular ingredient in that scenario was ineffective due to due to resistance. And hence, you know, the resistance breaking compounds will be far, far better in those those situations. Good. Yeah, well, I've got some smiling faces on there. Um, with these text ones where people sort of type in, it's uh, it's easier to deal with the, the questions for me uh, when I've done sessions like this. But for, for smaller numbers of people, um, I feel like a bartender. You know, <laughs> I forget whose round it is. People put a hand up physically. 
and then they pressed the, the raise hand button digitally and I'm thinking, well, who was next? Yours was a Guinness, yours was a gin and tonic, yours was a pint of mild. And uh, I don't think I'd make a good a good bartender. I get it wrong, so uh, <laughs> I'll stick to I'll stick to looking at insects down the microscope. That's the best place place for me. Um, so yeah, I think uh, I'll just do one last check of the the Q and A, and it looks like we've dealt with uh, the questions that people have fired at us. Um, so I think I will I will wrap up if uh, if that's okay with my uh, co-hosts and uh, fellow panelists. I got a nod from Richard there. A smile from Marco. Uh, Maya smiling, which is good. Matthew and Andy look, look happy enough. Uh, what do you think, Andy? Yeah. If I could tell a couple of words, I just want to to thank all the attendees. I hope that they heard something new. And don't forget, um, use our products, and you will find a solution to all the different organisms. Thank you very much. That's a good uh, a good summation. I don't think I can top that. So. I would also like to say that it was an excellent implementation of the webinar. Lots of very useful, um, interesting uh, information and thank you to, to all. Thank you, Maya. Okay, great. Thanks, Mattia. Thanks, Marco. Thank you very much, Anze. And thank you, Richard. And I'll say thank you to the delegates. I won't name everybody by name because we'll be here all, all day, but we've had a good, a good attendance. Uh, thanks for tuning in and enjoy the rest of your Friday and we're finishing just in time for lunch. So thank you and goodbye from Kilgem and Unikem. You can deal with insect problems with effect insecticides that can suit almost all insect problem situations you can imagine. Unichem. Everything for pest control.